On Wednesday, Denver police made the announcement. These are the, the three individuals that we believe are responsible for uh, this horrific crime, uh, a crime that has impacted our entire city, our community. The crime, an August 5th house fire in Green Valley Ranch that took the lives of five. The suspects, three teenage boys whose names are not being released because they're juveniles. We learned they are facing a list of charges, including five counts of first degree murder. The victims, the D.O. family, a husband, a wife, their daughter, his sister, and her infant baby girl. And as you know, we are immigrants that came all the way from Africa to seek opportunity in this great nation. It's so sad that uh, part of uh, our community member in that process of seeking opportunities, their life was tragically taken. A spokesperson for the D.O. family says they have received support from the entire Colorado community over the last six months, and they're still trying to come to terms with this tragic situation. Police are not releasing much information, but did say they believe the teenagers set the fire to the home on purpose, and they have not uncovered any evidence that indicates this was a hate-motivated crime. Those close to the family still asking the question why. We're happy right now, but it's, we know it's just the beginning of a long healing process. And while they work through that process, they want people to hear and follow this message. Let's embrace one another. Let's love each other. Let's not let horrific crime like this define who we are as a nation and who we could be as a state. And on Wednesday, we also heard from Mayor Michael Hancock, who called this one of the most heinous crimes he has ever witnessed in our city. Gary, just hoping that a little bit of this information can bring some type of closure to the family as they work to heal. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any doubt about what the uh, mayor said being true, that's for sure. Okay, thank you.